Hey guys, Greg here from Omen Foils. Just wanted to share a little wing drop downwind adventure that Sam and I had at the Blake this summer. We've been messing around with this concept a bit and yeah, I'm just, I've been stoked on playing around with it. I'm even more stoked for uh, my Maliko Parawing to arrive, but in the meantime, I'd really encourage you guys to get out and give this a shot. It's not nearly as hard as it looks or sounds. And I hope this video will give you some tips on how you and your crew can make it happen. So the wind seemed to be building up to what would be a howler. So we grabbed the camera, our prone boards, a couple three meter wings and paddled up the wind line together. I'm wearing my Jimmy rig drop anchor and Sam's carrying the wing bag for the pack down. I really have to get around to sewing up a nicer drop anchor, but what I've got for now is just a couple freezer bags filled with sand, shoved into an old pouch and tied into a piece of webbing with a quick, quick release buckle. Uh, if you're interested in more details, I can elaborate in the comments, but ultimately anything that's going to sink and create enough drag to slow the wing down to below the speed at which you can paddle is going to work great. It took us about 30 minutes or so to get upwind. One tip I got pretty early on in my kite surfing days is to pick a point way upwind and try to focus on it. This creates extra torque in your body and results in better upwind angles as long as you can maintain speed. And I find this a lot easier at a big long lake like this just because there's so many landmarks that you can focus on rather than in the open ocean. It's a bit, a bit trickier. Uh, so coming up here is where Sam and I first make eye contact and telepathically communicate our anxiety about how quickly the wind is dying off. <laughs> yeah. I love the downwind so much. Yeah. Like when you don't have the wing, it's just like you and your own thoughts. It's pretty good. I abhor that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice site too, though. Is it? Yeah. There's a little, uh, like a creek with a waterfall you can explore. Once we got to the wind line, I managed to get up without too much hassle. Did a quick tack to get up wind of Sam. And you can see me unclipping the drop anchor here to pass the wing. Um, safety point is I'm being cavalier and getting too close to Sam. You really don't need to be super close because they can just swim to the wing. Um, and another thing to note is Sam and I are really similar skill level. So we've just agreed beforehand to just ride for a couple minutes and then come down off foil so that we can both get, um, a bunch of rides without the wing in hand. But the really cool thing about this is you don't need to be similar skill levels as long as everybody's self-sufficient on the water with doing a normal downwinder and there's one rider that's confident riding without the wing people can just you can just pass the wing back and forth and the guy that ends up falling more is just going to carry the wing more so it's actually a benefit in many ways to go with somebody that's kind of at that um, lower intermediate level um, and it can be fun in a group where you just agree that you know, it's going to be a competition and everybody's going to try to maximize their, their foil time. And the guy that is least skilled ends up with the wing most of the time. Oh, buddy, we're running out of juice. <laughs> All that being said, Sam just told me to push to the end because neither of us are confident we can get back on foil again with a three meter wing and the bumps are getting really small. Um, so here I'm looking forward and seeing how much I have to go to the end of the lake and really regretting my decision to take that 40 liter board. Worse yet is we actually had a 60 li six liter prototype of the new Omen shape specifically designed for drop anchors and para wing and this really light wind winging. But since the wind was cranking, we, we opted for the prone boards. Um, the new shapes have been refined to get you riding with as little wing as possible while maintaining better turning performance, responsiveness, and feel than traditional high volume wing boards or downwind subs. Um, more to follow on those soon. Um, really looking here for any bit of energy I can hook into. And yeah, luckily the waves got a little bit better here at the end and I got a chance to dance around with my buddy Kim. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm tripping over your trail. <laughs> and here's Sam's triumphant return after a truly heroic effort to get up on his prone board. So despite the bad conditions, bad equipment selection, and incompetent riding, I think, I hope this video anyway, shows you how accessible these wing drop uh, downwinders are for intermediate riders and encourages you to get out there and try it. Um, love to hear in the comments if you've given it a shot or if you're experiencing any trouble making it happen, rigging up your drop anchor system. Let's, uh, let's get together and, and figure out how to make this work with each other. Um, aside from that, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It helps uh, get that YouTube magic and bumps our, our videos and allows us to just make more of this type of content. So anyway, um, check out omenfoils.com and enjoy the downwinding. <laughs>